As I was preaching last Sunday, I didn't mention anybody's name. But if you claim that you are the one, let it be you. Woe betide me if I don't preach the word of God. What is fake is fake. I am warning men of God everywhere. Stop anything arrange prophecy. I didn't say it by mistake. It is an unmistakable utterance. Any arrange miracle. If you want to do, I am even talking about prophecy. I have not come to the issue of the miracle. That one is another issue. I will still come to it sometime. By the grace of God. If after 28 years in this prophetic Calvary cross I'm carrying, I cannot look at somebody and tell you the truth, then I am not serious. The worst you can do is to use my name and defend the rubbish you are doing. I call it rubbish because there's no reason why somebody who is looking for don't fake the Holy Spirit and de destroy somebody's marriage. It is your husband. Anytime a male child comes, he uses it in the occult. Many marriages are, de are destroyed. Through the so-called prophecy from the so-called men of God. What a rubbish! Somebody that you know that has come to you with a problem of such nature. My husband has given me only this year or I lose the marriage. Why don't you invite that man for prayer? If it's a prayer for gender selection, the person you need most is the husband, not the woman. What is that woman doing in your prayer house? Can you cook here? man of God, woman of God. man of God, Apparently, politician, I say, I go away, I go away, I go away, I Then, many mother in laws, or to the lady with a broken heart. He broke her. na are gone. Oh, Mama says, No, I want a career. Oh, I'm going to ask you And when you go home, if you tell her that, she will begin to react. The gang, can you get a boy home and react? We have a lot to digest today. We have a lot to share today. Many things to share. Just relax your mind. Is it the Holy Spirit that told you that? Or you manufactured the story? And as Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, his preaching is not to make money. Many of us have started using this preaching thing to mine money. Now, we're money mining. In case you can't job with the um, Beth Niger prophecy. As the prophecy made Beth Niger, try and look. Uh, one informer, uh, informer from Enugu. If I'm a from Enugu, Gamuwa woke in bed with her. If I'm a non on Enugu, Pascal from London, Pascal on Eba. Can you hear that? Or you know why are you people being messed up? What? So one day you try say what is wrong with your brain? So one day again, I cannot see. Can Say what is wrong with your brain? Me do mad. Say I can't see. Say what is wrong? 
à part abattre l'église, c'est à part abattre l'église. Hey, on est Mecca, Mecca, Mecca. Et mec a ok, ok. Et me mec a ok, ok. Non, non, et nous goûtons. Et me ok, ok, on est un mec. Ni tout. You are being bamboozled. They have hoodwinked you into erroneous belief. Such things do not last. Give it time. What is fake will fade. Quote me. What is fake will fade. What is fake will fade. Oh yeah, Chong Yung Wegun, you know Dangote, huh? As rich as Dangote is, he's still borrowing money from the bank. Investing. Enter into business and do it. Stop using the name of God to do people. Prophetic, prophetic trial and error. Prophetic bet Niger. O dabakwa. O dabakwa. And on a dabakare. Asagi ishi zuzu yari wazia. Oye na chongwa. The worst is even somebody picks names of people to a man of God. Man of God, pray for me. These people are coming for my hands in marriage. And the woman, after going to the man of God, came back with the tears. What she may never tell anybody. And she is passing through broken hearts. She may say, I will never go to church again. I said, I don't more anonymia. I put her job more. What I carry who you are. Broken hearts. Shalom, child of God. Welcome back, my people. New subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. Returning ones, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much and grateful. Our people, Mbaka has said it again. <clears throat> if for those of you that have not watched the first one, kindly check the part one. This is part two of this video. Okay? Mbaka came out some time ago, so that should be last week, and said that uh, our brother here, Zion, will move. And said some things, arranging miracle and this and that. We treated that one. Now, this one again. Our brother came out and replied to him. Now, Mbaka says, he Since you claim that you are the one I'm talking to, I did not call anybody. I did not call anybody's name. I was only preaching my gospel, gospel of Christ. And you took it upon yourself and now claim that that my speech belonged to you. And I went to your altar and your pulpit to debunk it and to say some things. Our brother, our brother Zion will move. Actually said that uh, uh, he claimed that I am doing an RNG and I don't believe in all this talk. I believe in power of Chalfancha. Now Mbaka say, has said again. No, I want, this is my own opinion on this. I want to appreciate Reverend Father A.G. Kembaka for putting his, his mouth, his opinion his talk, his everything on this issue. Because we have been complaining about this. Unfortunately, we are bloggers. They are this and that. No, hey, they are not, they are this and that. They are enemy of, of Christianity. They are they want to destroy the body of Christ. You guys have heard from Mbaka. Matthew 7 15 is in the Bible, and it's also in your Bible. But we don't like to hear it. When you hear when they say it, Piam, 
our people will call it and say, yeah, eh, he's attacking man of God. He's attack Essentially, this Zion will move people. If you mistakenly say they 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 are too much on Facebook, if you mistakenly say anything about them or say anything, anything that concerning fake pastors, they will say that hey, they are talking about us, our pastor. That means you know that your evangelist is fake. If your evangelist is not fake, why are you take, claiming it? No, why do you claim it? Look at what Mbaka said. Is he did he, did he lie? Of course, no. You gather somebody's wife, you keep her. And say, how are you? How do you sleep on this with your husband? How do you used to sleep with your husband? You are your husband who used to go first. The woman will say, I'll go out with me, yeah, yeah. I'll go out with me, yeah, yeah. Hello, is that Christianity? And you claim to be virginal. I'll go out with me, yeah, yeah. Then you now ask on the public, on social media, on Facebook, on a live stream. You be playing with people's marriages because of money. Because of view, because of this, he talk also of thing of Chalfancha. Of Chalfancha, I have explained it. It's a name for Christ and not for you. It's a name for God because it's only God that can see all. It's only God that sees all. No human being can see everything on earth. But you took it upon yourself because of pride. For those of you that don't understand what is going on here, Mbaka happened to be his, his, his spiritual father. But this one is just a relationship gone wrong. Okay? Pride can destroy a man. When a man starts misbehaving, that is why I like him back out. When you start doing what you're not supposed to do, he will call you in order. Whether you like, if you like, it, be angry. If you don't like, it, that one concern you. So for me, my advice is this for you: Zion will move evangelists. Evangelists, Zion will move. This is my kind of advice. Go and make peace with Mbaka. He did nothing. He did not do anything. Now. Some bloggers have been calling on Facebook and say and claim that uh, Mbaka is angry because because Ebuka refused to because Ebuka Zion will move, refused to refuse to follow him uh, and fight Peter Obi. That is lie from the pit of hell. Pastor John say he will say lie from the pit of hell. <laughs> that is lie. He don't said that. They have their own issue. This man has looked into his matter. People has reported a lot of a lot of things to him. He look into his what he's doing and found out that it's not pure. That this guy that I made my son is not pure. He called him, you know, that of course I believe in private. He did not listen. It's okay. I have to bring it out. God is even the one using Baka to say this. God is first pushing it, putting it in his mouth to to rebuke him in public. You guys may not understand the sacrifice of being a reverend father. You may not understand it. Brother, Zion will move, can marry you. If you want to marry, now you got to marry. But Mbaka cannot marry. Let's just say, this is a man that paid who sacrificed for the sake of the gospel. I don't want to marry, just like Apostle Paul. I don't want to marry for the sake of this gospel. So he, he wants such person to, to play with the same gospel that he paid that kind of price. He paid such price, that such heavy price. He wants him to joke with the same gospel. Somebody... See, brother, whatever you are today, don't forget that Mbaka made you. I said this on Facebook. Some people say, eh, how has the Mbaka made Mbaka, of course, now, power of association. There's nothing you will be on earth. You say, how? When you were nobody, when you were nothing, nobody even know yourself. Yeah, can you cover that time and debug Mbaka or insult Mbaka? Of course, no. Mbaka took you to his altar. And he looked, even standing alone with Mbaka is enough for somebody to blow. Once he's a man of God and he believe in Roman Catholic because angry, uh, because he was, they are all Roman Catholic, many percent are Roman Catholic. To stand with Mbaka alone, just standing with Mbaka and snap picture and take photo. Oh my God. You are, you blow now. Because Mbaka has made name for himself. He has made name. He has, tell me, you know Mbaka years now. So you guys should stop this, please. No, the only thing I want you guys to know is this. Lesson for this is this. Pride is not good. Say no to pride. Don't bite the hand, the finger that fed you. Our brother is going somewhere now. He's just dragging everybody anyhow. You, you see this one now? He will come out. He will still, debunk, he will still reply him back out. Instead of you to keep quiet and look for solution for his problem. He will still reply him back because he likes saga. 
Hey, he's talk to me. How dare you talk to me? I have trained boys that can fight for me. They, they have this, this. His boys has destroyed a lot of people's Facebook channel, your Facebook page. They will report your page, report his boys and guests, his members. They will report your page, report, report, report. And page will go down. Is that Christianity? They will be happy. Yes, we told you that we own this Facebook. We own this Facebook. That is wickedness. Just because he said no to their wickedness. Just because he said no to their... No, let him go and arrest him. I think he did one of Matthias. He claimed he's uh, a cousin. Go and arrest him. Mbaka has said it all. I just want you to gain something here, child of God. Matthew 7, 15. Bible says, be one false prophet. Who comes to you in sheep clothing? In what do they are? Reveal us who's. Of a child you do your eyes as if uh, you are from demon. I don't know the meaning of that eyes. Oh. He used to do eyes. Oh, oh. Me, I don't know what he used to do in that his eyes. So whatever be the case, all I want to say is this. Let peace reign. Brother, be humble. Mbaka call you in order. Just like Apostle Paul did to Apostle Peter. He did not call it what? Attack. You are to repent. Since you claim that this talk is for you, you are to repent. Stop destroying, ruining a regime miracle. Stop do, uh, manipulating people. Stop uh, destroying people's marriages. Stop uh, knocking women in the name of a uh, prophecy, in the name of whatever, whatever. Go and marry. So it's well. Thank you guys for listening. We love you guys. Bye.